Hello everyone, welcome to our collective reading. So today I wanted to do a tarot reading but I didn't really know what so Spirit was like channel, do it now. So here I am doing it now, a little bit spur of a moment energy. What we're going to do differently this time is we're going to use this rattle to bring in your person's energy or like the collective energy that wants to speak through me right now. I usually incorporate the rattle in personal healing sessions or just in healing sessions with clients. So this is what we're going to be doing a little bit in this collective reading just to call in the energy. We're not going to do any healing, but we're going to call in the energy that wants to be present with the rattle. All right, so let's begin. You can close your eyes, feel into your person a little bit just to contribute to the energy and let's get into it. Let's see what your people have to say. All right, so all right, calling in the person of the collective. Welcome, welcome. There are quite a lot of people wanting to show up, so welcome, welcome. Okay, so we have created a vortex of energy here now, so let's get into it. Let's see what happens. Okay, the energy is beautiful, it's shifting, it's moving. Let's see now what wants to come through here for the collective. Right, so spirit, please, what do we want to talk about? Oh, wow, beautiful energy, very, very light. Jupiter conjunction, okay, powerful, loving energy. Okay, how do we put this like this? Okay, so we have the golden rose, mm, powerful. We have conjunction, we have peacock still, we have Jupiter coming through. I'm going to keep the cards like this for now. I'm going to show them to you. What's immediately popping out to me is a pibus here, but I have read it as anibus or anibus. So this is telling me that your connection right now is under a lot of transformation, okay? So patterns being shifted right now, your person feels very deeply that their own patterns are being shifted. It feels like for some of you, your person is currently ill or feeling badly a little bit, just if that resonates, you know, this is a collective reading, so take what resonates. But there is this strong energy coming from your person that they are attempting to heal right now. So they are going through their own healing at the moment. They're trying to realize that and move through that at this time. Okay. What else is coming through here is there are certain energies that are being taken away out of this connection with the golden rose. There is a sense of something lying very, very deep inside the center of your connection. I feel like you both feel it, you both see it. Maybe you haven't plucked into this one enough, but you both see it, okay? So how does your person think about this connection? I feel like they are currently trying to move through whatever it is that they are moving through. It feels like they're in a spiral right now, moving through something very difficult for them. There is a sense of this relationship presenting itself like a gem or like the silver lining or like a golden light that is within their lives. It's like, it almost feels like the love from this connection is sustaining them, is keeping them here, present. So it, it's very meaningful to them, even though they might sometimes not be able to admit that on a conscious level, the love that you share, <clears throat> pardon me, is very, very meaningful, okay? There is a sense of secrecy about this love present here as well, but there is expansion into what this is called 
you know, here with this beautiful Jupiter card energy. We are called towards expansion. We are called towards a higher consciousness as well. We're going to get to this one. But here now with the golden rose, what is coming to me is it's like the star energy. It's like a lot of hopefulness. A lot of hope is being given into this connection. There is a complex nature to this connection as well that your person is recognizing. And this connection is allowing them to expand their heart, expand their ability to trust in source to trust themselves as well to follow their intuition to trust themselves their intuition there is a sense of something deep some type of gem lying deep within this connection but the process of turning or knowing this connection is overall very very internal so the row spirals both inward and outward simultaneously so this does mean that while your person is going to be spiraling inside they're also going to be spiraling outside which is something that is happening for them right now there is a strong sense of transformation here anubis is strongly present throughout this reading you know the energy is very very present uh, i also work with anubis personally so i know the energy very well and it's here it's present it's bringing its dust full quality you know the dust allowing things to settle allowing things to leave to turn to dust and be transformed okay so that is happening to your connection right now then we have here the peacock's tail. We're going to go into the peacock's tail before we go into conjunction. The peacock's tail here is talking about full vision, having that intuitive insight, understanding the gem of this connection, understanding the meaning that is behind this connection, at least in, in a sense of like an atmosphere or a vibe. It's not necessarily conscious for all of your people or all of your soulmates or kindred souls that are tapping into this tarot reading here or this oracle reading as we have it up until now. Um, so there is the sense of like a spectrum that is occurring, a spectrum of emotions that are occurring for your person. It feels like their heart, their that their heart is basically connected more and more to the other chakras and it is also inviting them especially if you're asking about a masculine energy here it is inviting them towards action it is inviting them to expansion it's inviting them to act to do you know um, there is a sense of light moving over the abyss moving over the energy of the night or the energy of unconsciousness the energy of confusion over here the energy of chaos it feels like you are bringing this connection into full vision at the moment just on a mm, pre-manifested level is what this feels like you know like this connection is already in the energy of manifestation the the clock is ticking so to speak for this to manifest and it's got this fullness about it and it is sort of feeding into the physical at the moment okay so there's this sense of inclusivity about this it's including a lot of energy it's including a lot of perspectives a lot of connections there are also a lot of perspectives and a lot of other people's manifestations that are sort of feeding into this connection or feeding energy to this connection at this time giving it place to thrive all right so what else anything else wanting to come here there's a multiverse and a multi perspective that's happening in this sphere as well what spirit wants me to talk about here is mostly i feel like the ethereal so what is happening also on a pre-manifested level for you guys so that you can understand that this is being manifested right now that your connection is in the process of manifestation so creative solutions are happening right now. Complex problems are being solved. There is a sense of multiplicity, dim many dimensions playing into this whole scenario and a new paradigm or a new perspective that is being born out of all of this. Next card here, and this one is a little bit crooked. So, you know, there is conjunction happening. Conjunction is something that is currently being 
in progress or being put in progress. This is the most beautiful card for me personally in the whole Oracle deck. And this card is representing love, divine union and infinity, okay? So conjunctio is the great alchemical operation of love, quite literally. And during this stage, what we do is we witness the miraculous work of two opposites merging to create a unique third form. This is quite literally the energy of two souls meeting or the energy of two flames meeting, twin flames, so to speak, meeting to create something else on this earth. You know, it's about expansion, which is why Jupiter is here as well. It's all about expansion. It's all about mm, sort of creation. Yes, it's all about that. Okay, so sun and moon, basically the feminine and the masculine energies here, uniting to reveal the entire cosmos, the black and white, uniting to reveal the spectrum of color, the spectrum of this multiplicity. So conjunctio here represents a conscious and benevolent union, one that springs forth from awareness, acceptance, and devotion. It is not a compromise, but rather an activation that's happening right now, a holding of tension and presence that allows each of the entities to thrive and express themselves. Experiencing conjunctio at this time in your relationship is one of the blessings of the human experience, whether the bond is with human nature or divinity, okay? So your task right now here is quite literally to just recognize this energy, recognize it by stirring of by the stirrings of your heart and an element of surprise in your connection right now. Through the opposites arises the infinite, remember that. Okay, so the energy here is the alchemist is also patient and true to their own heart. Do not be fooled by preconceived images of what this looks like, what union looks like in this connection. I feel like this is something that often trips us up because we are used to, you know, from the movies or from the books or from whatever, we are used to hearing about what connection should really look like or what union should really look like or what love is or what love isn't, you know? But love is creative and therefore always seeking new forms. And it is going to express itself differently through you and your person and through another person, you know, or with, you know, you, it's going to express itself differently with another person, you know, it's just going to be different in all different forms because love is ultimately always also in search of expansion. It's always trying to find new ways to express itself, right? So what else here? So the message of love is ultimately resonating loud and clear in this connection. There is this element of expansion, Jupiter shifting, Jupiter moving loud and clear around us. There is a sense of big possibilities at play in your connection right now. If you are experiencing synchronicities, if you're giving up or given opportunities, at this time, it's time to seize them. It's time to take those opportunities because fortune is on your side right now. Good luck is on your side right now here with Jupiter ruled by Sagittarius. You also are open with Jupiter here to higher knowledge, which is also why I have been led to speak more of the pre-manifested state here, um, pre-manifested physical state, so to speak. There you know, also non-physical manifestations that are happening, which are the topic of this conversation that we are having right now. So Jupiter here being a welcome site, of course, it is giving energy expansion to all of these different elements. Okay. It's giving success and it's elevating your connection at this time. The fortune and future for you guys and for you especially right now watching this video is full is bright perhaps really even dazzling okay so that's the jupiterian energy so it's very like a magnetic feeling that's at play right now in your connection if you feel it if you sense it if this resonates with you seize that enjoy that feeling it's time to just really enjoy yourself experiencing that feeling you know it's not about 
doubt anymore, if that is in any way creeping into your mind right now. The work is to keep Jupiter's bigness in balance during the wave of expansion that's taking place for you and your person right now, or even if you're just asking about you here. The shadow of Jupiter also is most easily seen in celebrity culture, such as excess consumption and messages of never enough. You know, I don't have enough of this. I don't have enough of that. I don't have enough intimacy or whatever. So do be aware of that shadow creeping up for you at this time, right? Also be aware of comparing yourself with others or assessing your value. Also, if you're comparing yourself with your person, stop, shift, dissolve that right here, right now. It is not the place to do that. You are enough as you are by comparing yourself to others. You are not allowing yourself to express your true value. Don't double judge yourself for this as well. As I'm telling you this, don't double judge yourself because Jupiter just happens, you know, and instead realize with the benevolent messages in your heart, realign with your own value, realign with your core, with your heart, with your solar plexus. Right now, you can close your eyes, take a few deep breaths, pause the video if that's something that is aligning with you. What truly needs expanding is your question to be asking right now. It's likely not the people who are around you, you know, it's likely not even your bank account that needs expanding. What, what, what is in your energy that needs expanding? Is it love? Is it trust? Is it a sense of inner value? Is it, a, is it a sense of inner peace? What can you put your finger on and be like, okay, I'm going to shift this and expand this in myself right here, right now, right? So what else here? Good fortune, expansive energy. We spoke about this. Mm, Jupiter goes hand in hand in success. So if you don't doubt this connection, you know, if you don't doubt, it's going to happen. If you doubt, don't double judge yourself for that. Again, don't judge yourself for doubting, but sort of notice the doubt. Notice the doubt coming on. Notice it being there and just say thank you. Thank you for your assistance. Thank you for reminding me that I do need to be careful, but I'm going to still trust in my manifestation. I'm still going to trust in me and my person here, right? Because success is assured here as long as you don't question yourself, double judge, or, you know, just go in that spiral of overthinking this or thinking that it's not going to work anyway, okay? So that's the only way that you can screw this connection up. It's time to evaluate also what this concept means to you. What does success mean to you with Jupiter here? That's that little Sagittarius energy coming through. You know, being like, let's get philosophical, guys. Let's see what is success for you. What is success? Who and what determines your success? Okay, you yourself do, but what does that mean for you? You know, don't take this for granted. Don't just take things like they are here, but question, question what success means for you right now, right? Okie doke. <laughs> so let's see, this was quite interesting, quite an interesting, almost 20 minutes. I'm guided to see what your person has to say. So we're going to get a few messages. Beautiful energy, spirit, please. Wow, just immediately flew out. I can only offer you my friendship for now. So do take that. Take their hand, take their friendship. Their beautiful heart is here. It's allowing love. It's giving you love. Your person might be in a certain position right now where they can't or aren't ready yet. You know, the, the energy is not fully manifested yet. But friendship is shifting. Friendship is a stepping stone towards a new level of expansion. Friendship is love. Friendship is sharing in with the energy of your person. You are my light. Yes, you are your person's light. So allow yourself to shine your light in this person's life. You're supposed to shine the light in each other right now, in each other's lives. Okay, this person is saying they don't want to half ass your relationship, so they don't want to just do a little bit, they want to give you their fullest attention. They do want to contribute a lot to your friendship, but this person is coming through also very clearly, being like, Okay, 
I cannot give you a full blown relationship right now due to whatever reason it's going to be different for all of you you know but I can offer you a friendship I can offer you love through someone who listens someone who is there for you someone who assists you someone who goes out with you for a drink you know someone who is ready to work on this relationship and who is ready to expand in this relationship and who is ready to look what this relationship has to offer for us both okay they're very true to themselves I feel like you can trust this person I want to make it right. Yes, if this person has screwed up in any way previously, they do want to make it right. They are sorry for what they have done. They're sorry that they might have not treated you good. You know, they're realizing the error of their ways here and they're like, okay, I want to do better next time. I want to do it differently. I want to be given another chance if that's your energy, if that's something that resonates with you. Okay, so let's see what else here for the collective spirit. I want to find my way back to you, yes. In case you have been in separation, they want to find their ways back. And we have, I'm very busy working to assure the best for us. This person might be very much into work, might be using that success here, the Jupiterian success overworking themselves maybe even i'm coming out of the cave so this also does mean coming out of the closet for me for some of you this feels like your person is getting ready to tell you some things about themselves about how they have been feeling getting real with you getting down to business the world was turned upside down when i have met you okay so there is that is this indication of this being a very divine union a very special connection that has the potential to transform both of you so there's that anubis energy coming through again being like here i am ready to transform ready to shift out what no longer serves in this connection and to transform it into the highest good for both parties and for every single soul, every single energetic form aligned to this one. I'm getting ready to face you as the next card. So this person is getting ready to come back into your life if they have been away. You already know as our next card. So you already know, you already feel this connection. You already know what's happening between the two of you. You're already there, you know. You just need to trust yourself. And this is exactly what I'm saying here. You know, you guys, you are already tapped into your intuition. You are already feeling your person. You know, it's not even a question here about that. From my perspective, you guys already know it's just about trusting yourself and realigning with that intuition and being like okay i know this is right for me this is what i'm feeling and this is how i know it is right so trust yourself trust yourselves here i am wrapped up in my karma your person is saying okay so yes any type of separation any type of problems any type of friendship instead of relationship that's happening here it's them being wrapped up in their own position, in their own karma, in their own lessons at this time. There are also some genera generational traumas, generational lessons that are coming through here. It feels like your person has decided in this lifetime that they are going to go through this or they are just you know, working through these lessons at this time. But we do have here also I see us getting through this okay so they are maybe wrapped up in their karma whatever that karma is maybe it's personal issues maybe it's family issues maybe it's partnerships that are not aligned maybe it's something else entirely you know it's always going to be different for you guys so yeah so they're asking do you love them also here on the bottom do you love them enough right now and also what do we have? I'm reflecting on our connection. Okay, so they're also reflecting on your connection and practicing connecting with you. So this person does want to connect. They do want to move forward. They want to move forward with you here. They want to be able to shift to align with you right now. Okay, any other messages spirits like okay give them a message give them a card i just have to find it first not 
exactly sure what I have my cards. Okay, so we're going to get you guys a frequency card that aligns to the collective watching this video, the collective that's still with me, that's still listening here. Or if, you know, anyone just jumps up ahead, if they align to this, they're ready to receive. Okay, so I'm practicing connection here. Needing more time and space as well. I miss you is coming through here as well. So I miss you. Okay. I'm happy I have met you. Okay, so we're just going to put that, that aside. Let's see what wants to come through as the message for the collective. As guidance for the collective watching this video, please. <laughs> okay, the mini. Oh, that one is hardcore, you guys. That one is hardcore. We're going to go into this. This one is an awakening one. And this one has a lot to say. This one basically doesn't matter if you draw this one upright or reversed. And what I do want you to do as I'm explaining what this card means, I want you to look at this card because it helps you entrain with this energy. This is a frequency card, which means that it is pre-manifested form, pre-manifested reality, and it's going to shift your perspective. Okay, this is what it is intended to do. So the mini, the mini frequency, <laughs> right? So regardless of upright or reversed, the meaning is the same as said before. So what is this saying for the people watching this video is basically that there is a particular resistance to your own awakening that's taking place right now. All right, so at this point in time, you may be particularly resistant and closed down. And so now it is time for a wake up call from the universe, which is basically what this card is. So what I want to do right now, I want to give you a couple of questions that you need to answer for yourself at this time regarding what your issues are in life or maybe regarding this relationship. It, if something, if some of these questions are basically prevalent to this connection or sort of remind you of this connection that something needs to shift, all right? So what is the positive intention I have for keeping this negative thing in my life? What need is being met by it? Why don't I want to get better or improve this situation? One question. The second question. What do I not want other people to know about me? What am I trying to deny or hide? Question number three. Why am I not doing the things I know I should be doing? I know this one is quite hardcore. This card is hardcore. So four, if I weren't scared, what would I do? Five, what in my life is worth suffering for? Six, what am I willing to give up or what do I need to give up in order to have what I want? And seven, if I weren't scared to admit to it, what would I admit to myself that I really want? Okay, so that concludes the questions. This card is basically as liberating as it is painful to draw. It suggests that we must awaken to our true selves and our true desires if we are to live a life that is worth living. It demands that you admit what you want to yourself right now. It also demands that you admit to the ways that you are preventing yourself from what you want and why you are preventing yourself from doing that so you can gain awareness and so you can shift because we always can shift from the awareness that we are in. Okay, so this is a big card. I congratulate you, the collective that's here for drawing this card. I feel like this one also often comes through in the collectives, which does mean that you guys are like, okay, we are ready. We're ready to shift. We're ready to move this forward. Okay. Even though you might be sometimes struggling or denying or being like, I don't know what to do, or maybe you're procrastinating by watching too many tarot readings. You know, I've been there, done that as well. But you know, the ultimate goal here is to transform, to become aware of why you are holding yourself back and to shift that and to move into your highest light. 
right? With this, I'm going to finish up this beautiful collective reading. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for being a part of the stream. And I'll see you in the next Pick a Card reading. If you want to book a service with me, such as tarot readings, channeling, healing, or anything else, send me an email. Or you can also check out my website and through that, send me an email if you want to check what I have listed over there. But the options are overall unlimited. If you want to work with me, just send me an email and we'll make it work in some way. All right. So much love, so much light to you all, sending you so much much beautiful energy glitters included in that energy and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!